Oh, there's one. Yes, a bit of a head shake. Oh, oh don't. I didn't really that. set the hooks on him. I was no, he's moving around the boat. There he is. Oh, he had another go at it. I'll just stop this here. Do you want me to pin us here? Yeah, just pin. There might be a water. To be just out a bit wider, yeah. He was aggressive. He had a couple of goes, or there was a couple of them, one or the other. Oh, there he is. There he is. Got him. Yep. Nice. I was Locking just that little grub. I was just about to say it was the first soft plastic I think I ever used was the old Mr. Twister. And we've just made another one look like a Mr. Twister. It's not quite the same, but um, that's where it all started way back when. Jason Flathead. Jason Flatties. It's uh, Ooh. <laughs> oh, what oh. a release. What a release. <laughs> it was well that a little one, that one. That's all right. Saved us on hooking one. It did. There'd be a big one in there somewhere. We're chasing a big one. We don't do a little flathead nudge. Don't we? <laughs> <laughs> we quite often do. We travelled to the channel waters to the south of Morton Bay. Sunny coast that way, Gold Coast that way, and we've come here on the reports of a few spawning flathead. When it comes to flathead, we need all the help we can get because we are not the most fantastic flathead anglers. No. So I hope you've done some research, Nige, because I don't think I've improved since last year. No, we've done not a lot of research. We've just come here on a speculation, but we're not going to catch them here. So tide turn happening now. It's first light. Probably a good time to try and catch one. I think we should have a crack at them. All right, I'm going to go just over there, I reckon. Sounds good. What have you got? I don't know. Well, as I found up again, it's very small. Not sure what's, I'm really not sure what's happening. But it is. Flat it's a flathead. <laughs> That's how we open the account up. Well done, Nico. Well done. It goes to show that my flathead catching abilities have not improved Smackin since last none. year. He's well camouflaged, that one. How is the aggression on a fish that size in the lure that big, Dodge? I think we can do better. <laughs> Broke of the dark. It was a top edge that's gone through and we've just got a quick single off it. But we're off the mark. Oh yeah. Got him? Yeah. Nice work, Nige. Oh, lost him. It's not a big fish. There we are. That was just slow, really slow. Slow roll just on the bottom. Off the bottom? Yep. Then I just let it go. That's good. Made me feel better. There's one. Oh, <laughs> straight away. They're in there. Straight see, away. See we called it. We. You just seen in. that different change of. Oh, that did pop me off. What just happened then? Okay. Yeah, gotcha. Bit, bit me tail off. One minute tailor. Good little funnel. Great little funnel. Yeah, it's that's the main centre of it, just over there. It's just about ready to end because this tide's about to stop. Bit fish in there. Come on, another little rattle. Such an awesome Definitely gutter, fish isn't in it? Here. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, I got one too. Oh. oh, a bit of drag pulling. Hey, what's yours? I've got a lizard. I've got a lizard too. I've got what they are known as a flat sand chameleon. Flat sand chameleon. <laughs> the flat sand chameleon. Oh, and look at mine, Nigel. Yours is like a monster for us. <laughs> That's probably the biggest flat I've ever caught in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually pretty proud of myself right now. <laughs> I'm pretty proud of you too. And uh, that's a double header. What a way to crack it off. Oh, yes. <laughs> we can catch flathead. <laughs> we should probably um, crack quit it off ahead. about now and quit while we're oh, ahead, I think, Nigel. Maybe some sense in that, too. <laughs> I don't want to push me luck any further. Well done. Our early morning start was well worth getting out of bed for now. And with these spawning flathead, generally when you find one, you'll find a few more. So we'll release this one and see what's going on back over there. We have now officially put the flathead onto our southern scrolls, but our competitive nature is kicking in. We need to catch a big one. The quest continues. So Where are we? It. Right, let's go for this one. Oh, got him? Yep. I have got him. Nice work, Nige. Little head shakes. Come on. Oh, he's flapping around the top. He's having a little bit of a go. Hey. He's having a little go. Little flathead in there. There's a little pocket of them. It's all about finding those little funnel points. At the moment there's like a big backwater up in there and it's running, the last of the tide's running water in here and it's just a classic place where a lot of food's going to come down to flat it and all we're doing is really just bumping lures on the bottom. It's probably only one to two metres of water there. And uh, a few flatties. This one's no monster but Nico, there'll be another big one in there somewhere. I'm just thinning out the small ones for you. Thanks, like that. thanks mate. Like that team play. Thanks mate. 
Using a soft vibration lure, little plastic vibe, bright colours, flattered like bright colours. All we're doing is casting it pretty much up onto a lip of sand. We can actually see the sand, so it's very shallow water. And then, virtually slowly winding and keeping that lure on the bottom, I actually feel it bumping through the sand ripples. So I know these fish are sitting on the bottom looking up into that current, that's what they're going to eat. So I don't want the lure mid-water or winding too fast. I really want to just keep it bumping the bottom like a little stray bit of bait that's come out of that channel up there. And it's now down on the bottom on its own and that's pretty much what they're looking to feed on. And I think uh, key with flathead fishing is keep it on the bottom. That's a, oh, he decided shook to wake up. Shook his head a little bit more. He's not huge. Oh, jeez, oh, they shake their head. He's a nice little fish still. A big chameleon shake. He fought a lot harder than I gave him credit for. This will be a male. There'll be bunches of fish this size sitting around getting ready to spawn with some bigger fish. That's what we're after, the big females. Something in that sort of 70, 80 centimetre size that's what we really want. But these are definitely going to keep us amused until that big one comes along. And when it does, we'll try and not lose this next one. <laughs> right, yep. landed. Oh, oh, missed him. Oh, oh, Got out oh. time. That's a better one. Yeah, good. Good. Not about that much better, actually, but... I just shook it the way it shook it. It's head just had a nice, head, nice head shake at the start. He's got a few nice little rattles there with his head butt. Oh, he just <coughs> made me lose my lure. And me jig it. You might as well deal with it there. I don't want to. It's your <laughs> fish. <laughs> and he is gone. No. Nah. It feels different. Like that water's starting to really flood over that sandbar now, Norge. The current's starting to back off. Yep. Concentration point is gone. I think we're running gun. What do you think? think? We need to go and find another little pressure point. Another little bit of current moving, you know? Spot up. So, we move fast, we fish fast. Well, let's go and do it. Right up. How are we going? We're Happy right at this transition spot here, Norge. Weed in, to in sand. The sand. Looks like Yabby Bank's there too. Good. Oh, got him. Nice work, Nige. Little fish. Plunked it, though. He definitely wanted it. He did. Yeah, he's a little fish. Little fish? Yeah. I'm going to skip him in. He was on that corner. Bass landing? Landing like a bass fisherman. I can't do that. I'm not much of a bass angler either. <laughs> cute, aren't they? Yeah, very cute. How much has he wanted that? Plastic's half the size of him. It's coming out his gills. He's got a real rough head on him. It's a bit like you, actually. <laughs> nice little ledge. That's fish gone. Yep. Right on that ledge. Ooh, right on that ledge. Beautiful specimen. Another one of them flat headed sand chameleons, Nige. <laughs> Definitely racking up some numbers. You're consistently catching slightly bigger ones than me. I don't quite like that pattern. <laughs> what are you doing differently than I'm? They're not big enough yet. They're not big enough to talk about. Here he comes. Nice little flatty, Nige. He's right, is he? If I can get him in the boat. Oh, yeah. That's the third flatty we've caught in about probably a 15 metre stretch, I'd say. We've barely moved along. So I think what we're going to do is uh, we'll just position the boat up there. We might tie our soft plastics back on and just work this area a little bit. Hopefully that'll convert a bigger fish. And there's obviously numbers in there, so it's worthwhile persisting in that one area, I think. Oh. Well done, Nodge, right in that bait. That's a fish. That's a fish. I did. We saw that bait and we went, there might be a fish there. There is. I think I've got an eight pound leader here too, so if it's in deep, it could be. Oh, yeah, it's a nice little fish. Nice fish. I'll have to get a net, mate, because I, I can't actually lift this on eight pound. I can get the net for you. I'll bring it around for you. Well done. He fairly ate that vibe, didn't he? I was a bit concerned because it was one of those, it wasn't an aggressive bite, it just came onto it slowly and I thought, I think the vibe's gone. <laughs> an eight pound we leader, very abrasive mouths. You sort of, that's why I was being very gentle for a fish that size because they do very quickly rub you off. And uh, we have released one prematurely today already. Yes. So I didn't want to do that again. It's all right. This little run and gun approach is working. Just got to cover ground and a couple of different lures and options. Give them some different bit of variety. They're getting bigger, Nigel. They They're are. Getting They're bigger. The right, the right way. Well, there's one there, so and there's a pelican behind us eating bait. So you, you deal with that. I'm going to get back in there. You can see how flat these 
critters can get basically lying in the sand all you can see is those eyes and actually shuffle themselves into the sand and just wait for stuff to come over the top of them they're not the most active of hunters and all we're doing is basically preying on that ourselves we're just getting lures pretty much on the bottom and dra virtually dragging them we're just winding them through the sand ripples hoping to bring it across the top of those eyes and have that come out and go all over you let this one go to grow a bit bigger 